All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. You won't hear this in mainstream media. So I'm going to do my best to come up here and share some light into this. And the reason why you're not going to hear this is because obviously the media has done uh, an attack against a law enforcement community, right? They hate them and they want to put them down as much as they can so they can make money. Unless it's convenience to them, right? Like when the whole capital thing happened you know they defended the police because you know it was kind of like all right do we defend police or we so typically speaking they hate cops and they're going to talk bad about police officers so things like this it's just not going to show the news right before i tell you check it out you can support the channel by becoming a patron you could also you know use our amazon affiliate links and things like that there's a couple links down there click in there buy yourself some makeup or something and obviously a portion of that comes back to the channel yeah all right let's do this let me share my screen right here and this just recently happened and i wanted to share it with you guys right now so what what happened well active shooter shot kill in san antonio international airport by an officer what do you mean Really, what do you mean? You mean that somebody, you mean that somebody was brave enough to take an active, uh, active shooter, a police officer? No way. So let's listen to this. Definitely share your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Airport scare. First at five, a frightening and dangerous scene for people at San Antonio International Airport this afternoon. An active shooter killed at the airport after San Antonio police say he was firing shots at random, aiming at an officer and at one of the terminals. Our Jonathan Goto is at the airport. He joins us now live with the latest. Jonathan, it's our understanding that this was not the first place that the shooter opened fire today. That's right, Ursula. The San Antonio Police Department Police Chief William McMahon is confirming that same suspect was over at the flyover at 281 and 1604 earlier this morning. Police say at around 2.30 this afternoon, the suspect made way to the airport in his vehicle, driving the wrong way on the lower level of the airport. When the suspect hit Terminal B, he jumped out and began firing aimlessly at the terminal and at Park Police. McManus says the officer who returned fire at the suspect is truly a hero. I will say that the officer who stopped this saved a lot of lives because this guy had a full box of ammunition he had a 45 caliber handgun that he was shooting in the direction of the terminal uh, at the police officer and behind him indiscriminately. Police say the suspect was treated by EMS and transported to a nearby hospital. Deputy director here at the San Antonio International Depart uh, Airport says the F. Did anybody hear about this? Did anybody hear about this? I don't think that anybody heard. Let me see if it has a little bit more over here. Family, their family members, their friends could have been in harm's way. Yeah, Steve, Ursula, as the San Antonio International Airport was put on lockdown, families waiting for their loved ones were in complete disbelief. I spoke to a San Antonio woman who was getting married this weekend and her loved ones were inside when all of this unfolded. It was bumper to bumper traffic this afternoon. Take a look at this video. You can see police and ambulances making their way towards the airport around 2.30. Police officers were diverting traffic and many stayed near the gas station where there was a waiting area. I spoke with San Antonio residents, Sarah Sarah Drillick, who was waiting for her bridesmaids and family members. She's getting people. married this weekend. Some were coming from Wisconsin and others from Los Angeles. My friend Dallas was saying that there's right, an act. So here's the thing. I want to just come up here and say this. Obviously, police officers do a great job every single day. Great job every single day. And they don't show in the news. They really don't, right? And if you don't believe it, you know what? You could do this. Go and do drive arounds. Go into the police department and ask. Can I go on a drive with you guys? You know, you know, a lot of places allow you to do that. You go actually ride with a police officer and actually see what they do. Because all you're going to hear is what the fake news is going to tell you in order to make money. Right? Oh, they don't do anything. They don't do this. They don't do that. Go there. Go there. I challenge anybody to go into the police department in your city and request to do a ride alone. And spend some time with them. And see what they do. Because things like this may not happen all the time. But you know what? Domestics assault, fights, domestics happen 
every single night, and they are willing to run into somebody's house to protect people. To me, they do a fantastic job. Yes, there's bad apples out there. Obviously, there are. And some of you guys that call me out and tell me, oh, you're always defending police officer. I guess I am biased. I am super biased. I defend cops and not criminals. That's what I do. I mean, if you like to defend criminal, it must be because you are a criminal. It must be. Or somebody that is close to you is a criminal. Because I just don't understand how you would take a criminal side versus a law enforcement officer. I, I, I don't get it. You most like the criminal environment. You most like that. So, anyways, you know what? This police officer did a fantastic job. I wanted to come up here and put it in the channel because of him, countless of life were saved. And we owe them so much. He did an amazing job. It's not easy to face somebody with a pistol and put your life in the line. And this cop did that, and he saved many people. Again, what a fantastic job. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.